Yes people, what's everyone saying? Welcome back, good evening. Alright, so for those that have watched my latest video, I've got a comment um, earlier that I've pinned. Um, go read it. It's about Martin and uh, Derek Beggy being cut from the same cloth. Basically, two con men. Um, I was thinking that myself earlier today and I'm glad I'm not the only one. Um, this guy has said that he hasn't heard of Martin in the Muay Thai world, the martial arts world in general, you know. Um, not only that, he's also said, you know, why are these funds not going directly to a lawyer or some sort of legal team, you know. Um, and I'll tell you why, shall I? Because, like I said... They're both cut from the same cloth. Now, this is fake beef. And people are already chucking money at Martin. Nothing's going to happen, people. Nothing is absolutely going to happen. 100%. Made up beef. All for views. For money, which they'll probably split together. This has been... Um, ongoing between the pair of them for some time now, and it's it's not been believable one bit. It's gone, you know, back, forth, back, forth, you know, and just a pair of common, just a pair of out and out despicable common. Um, do you think, honestly, um, Beggy's going to be arrested? You heard already um, Martin saying his defence. Uh, um, someone says, is it possible that he could flee? Unfortunately, yes, um, we have many boats that go from the river or whatever, and it's, I don't know what he said anyway, some cods wallop about this, like, escape routes, so, we know um, Beggy's planning on coming back to the UK or fleeing elsewhere soon, um, and I believe this is a new way, this new GoFundMe is absolute bogus. And I've already seen people chucking 50 squids at him. Uh, it's manning up nicely. And if I actually thought it would get Beggy done, you know, arrested, charged with something, I'd, I'd be all for it. But people, can you not say, open your eyes, stop being so gullible, stop. You know, um, Beggy's pretty simple, but a lot of these viewers, a lot of these people have got more cash than brains. You know, if you can't sit and analyse this fake beef between the pair. I mean, Beggy's had a video earlier where he's had an email from BKFC manager at gmail.com or Zyla. That's up. Um, I mean, please, 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 please. He's pulling our legs. He can't. Honestly, believe that waffle. Can I? A random email sent from a uh, Danny Brown, <laughs> Danny Brown, <laughs> Danny Christian, Robbie Brown, as people have pointed it out to him. Um, oh, God, God. And um, has he split up with Chu? <sighs> Do you know what? I doubt it, to be honest. Um, will he come back to the UK? Without, I think so. I think he, there's a good chance. I feel he's used her. She's outstayed her uses, should we say. It was a place for him to basically sleep, which he does most of the day. So, you know, rent free, of course, you know, rather than him paying for hotels, you know. And it, it did look like he's looked after her. I mean, he's absolutely um, ruined that woman's life, lost her a job. Lost to her reputation, lost to her friends, nearly lost to her family. He's got her phone. He's got her with some massive tattoo above her chest. I mean, it's sad. It's really sad. But she'd be better off staying there on her own and getting getting well shot of him. Um, he's bad news. Whatever he touches... Gets destroyed, let's put it that way, you know. I mean, he's destroyed his own life, but uh, anyone that's involved with him in some way, you know, through some connection, always ends up biting off more than they can chew, if you get me. Um, more than you can chew. Oh, no pun. <laughs> um, but, no, please, people, stop. There is no proof, except for a 40-minute video of Martin rambling on, rambling on for ages. Trying to give the old 
Sell us the old beef, the old codswallop, the old sob stories that is is really going to get Heggy done. Absolutely not. Never going to happen. Not by him anyway. It'll eventually happen, probably in the UK or later on in life, but it ain't going to happen through Martin. He's another con man. I've got, I had nothing against Martin personally, but... I just got a bit fed up with their pretend back and forths. You know, I've been thinking for a while something doesn't quite add up. But as they haven't been in coats um, financially, I've never believed that, you know, it's as bad as Craig and Beggy working behind the scenes. So, yeah, I don't, I don't believe it. Don't believe it one bit. And people, I just believe it's another way of conning the public, conning the viewers, conning... How can we put it? The viewers that lack any intelligence, you know, then you'll always find a few on this corner of YouTube that are so obsessed with getting him arrested or so, so um, gullible. You know, it's not hard. It's not hard. It seems like it's not hard to trick and con the people in this community. You know, I'm probably... The only honourable one. I don't have buy coffees, PayPal's, GoFundMe's. I don't ask, you know. And I make do with what I make, you know, which ain't a lot. And all the others, they're just it's just one thing after another. I mean, <sighs> Craig is absolutely the, the probably the greediest bugger apart from um, Beggy. I mean, he's got PayPal, not PayPal. Um, He's probably got PayPal. He's got buy me a coffee as well as raking all them super thanks in. You know, so there you go. <laughs> That's it. That's my opinion. So if you want, you can check out the pinned comment of my last video. But I want to entertain Martin. There's something dodgy about him anyway. There's something that's, to me, not believable. You know, it's a load of old hogwash. Him and his fake beef with... um. Decker, you ain't fooling nobody, the pair of you. You ain't fooling me anyway, you know? Con jobs. Absolute con jobs, you know? And, um, sorry, this has had to be a serious video, you know? There's nothing to, that, there's nothing I find funny in this video. Why? One man's already rinsed the public. The next man now thinks he can do the same by making out some bogus story that Beggy's days are numbered and everyone's getting all excited. Yeah, 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 he's going to get me. Yeah, here's some more money, here's some more money. Of course he is, of course he is. Absolutely nothing will happen. Zero. Zero. He will not get even questioned. He will not get charged. He will not get arrested. He will not get caught. He will not get two years. People, open your eyes and don't believe the rubbish that these people tell you. Because I tell you what, from my time on YouTube, I've learned that you can... Literally trust absolutely no one. No one. You know? Remember, these people are strangers. These people are strangers. Until you know them for a long time on a personal level. They are just content creators. And I use the term loosely. Um, sorry, it's another case of another con man. And um, he's milking everybody. And I, I believe that they're in, in on this together. Mark my word, nothing will happen. And, you know, people's money will already be lost. But I'm not one to say I told you so. But I told you so. Trust me, the doc is never wrong. It's a scam. Laters.